everyone, and uh, welcome to our um, final, final uh, fellow meeting for this year of uh, the Shandal Center for Digital Learning Innovation. Uh, we published this meeting as the final meeting of the fellows for this year, but this was cheating because uh, we actually have uh, two more events and uh, that I'd like to briefly mention. One is the uh, uh, HDIP con conference, the, the International Society for History and the Theory of Intellectual Property, that will take place uh, June 20 and 21. Uh, Professor Michael Grenach, who is organizing the conference, will walk into the room in a few minutes. And so if you have any further questions regarding the conference, uh, you can contact uh, him, uh, everyone is welcome, but you need to register, so please make sure to register for the conference. The other event that is actually hosted by the Shungar Center is um, uh, an event that we are holding during Cyber Week that will take place here at the end of uh, June, uh, that the uh, final week of the semester. And we will hold a, a unique panel uh, on a very sensitive uh, issue that is not uh, often discussed, and that is uh, uh, the law and ethic implication, legal and ethical implications related to cyber surveillance, especially uh, uh, considering the aftermath of the um, NSO saga, uh, and we'll have some. Um, uh, very interesting uh, panelist, uh, the investigative uh, journalist Unem Bergman, will, uh, that is, has been studying this over the past uh, couple of years and reported about it. We're going to have some representatives from the uh, you know, former uh, administration in the United States, some people who are familiar with the policies in small companies and large companies. And uh, this fascinating discussion will be uh, led by uh, one of our own fellows, uh, <coughs> uh, who is the former legal advisor of the uh, Israeli uh, National Cyber Directorate. Have they changed their name? It's really difficult to pronounce. <laughs> Uh, so please also join us for this. Mark your calendar. That could be that would be June 27 uh, in the afternoon from uh, three o'clock to 4:30, and you are all welcome. And also please make sure to register for that. Uh, but today uh, we are really delighted to host this uh, discussion. Uh, that I will uh, generally frame as AI accountability. Um, this is a particularly timely uh, topic nowadays as uh, many in the press and the media are uh, warning us that AI uh, is leading uh, humanity to its extinction. Um, Sam Altman that was uh, hosted uh, last week here at the university was uh, did not uh, was trying to avoid engaging in this uh, type of uh, debate, but actually, and actually uh, said this is uh, this might be a long-term concern. But uh, we all know that in the shorter term, what is really uh, important uh, is to try and find uh, tools that would help us. Uh, implement uh, some of our principles and thoughts and requirements, both ethical and legal, uh, regarding uh, uh, how AI systems uh, should be uh, working and how to make sure that they comply with our uh, shared values and principles and uh, work uh, for the benefit of society as a whole. And in this toolbox, uh, we have tools or proposed tools such as auditing that we did not discuss this year, unfortunately, uh, but also risk assessment and impact assessment. Uh, and today uh, we're going to talk about uh, impact assessment, and we are really delighted uh, to host uh, Dr. Elena Warning from the University of Helsinki. Uh, 
who will also be a visiting a scholar at the Shangara Center during the following months. For those of you who want to follow up, and thank you for uh, uh, joining us uh, today to discuss this issue. And that will be followed by a comment by our own uh, Dr. Uya Cohen from the Faculty of Law. The floor is yours. <laughs> 